to look at our beautiful campus library. It's located at 219 Rock Street in beautiful Bluefield, West Virginia. Our library was built in the 1930s and it's been here for nearly 100 years. It's named for William B. Robertson, who was an advocate for the pursuit of education in our community. He was a graduate of Bluefield State. So if you're ready, let's go to the library. Welcome to the library with me, Buddha Son Simon. You can call me Emmer for short. And so now, I would like to take you to tour William B. Robertson Library. If you want to know, let's go! No worry, Robertson Library open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. There are 26 computers, two binders, and one scanner to serve BSU students for free. And the student can come here to do assignments, homeworks, research, or self studies. Students can log in by their user account of BSU students' email. And in case if you cannot find any book you need, you can go directly to the circulation desk. There will be a librarian staff to help you to find a right book you need. Hello, my name is Darren Crump. I'm a library worker here at Bluefield State University, and if you need help finding a book, come find me. So, you need to wait for him for a second to look for a book for you. I have found your book. Here you go. And if you would like to borrow a book in the library, first, you need to have a library card, but Wait, if I don't have the library card, what should I do? If you don't have a library card, we will have you fill out a form to get a library card free of charge. And you can get it at the circulation desk, and anyone who works in the library can issue that library card. Just bring your student ID with you, and we'll fill out a form with you, and you can get a library card that's good in all West Virginia libraries. Sayonara, have a good day. Hello, my name is Fatima and I'm going to talk about archives. Archives collect and provide access to unpublished materials. And archives differ from libraries in the sense of two things. Okay. So the first thing is the type of materials. The type of materials we have in archives are unpublished materials in different formats, like artwork, diaries, books, etc. And for access to materials, archives include a very unique materials, okay? So that's why they tend to be preserved for us and for future generations. Are you ready to have a look inside the archive? Let's go! Archive in Bluefield State University is like most of other universities. It's a department within a library. And if you want to get something from an archive, you should first get an appointment. And you can also ask Mr. James for more information. Okay, my name is James Leedy. I'm the archivist here at the William Bernard Robertson Library. This is the archive where I am. You can come to me or you can talk to either Melissa or David and uh, they're pointing in my direction and we'll do whatever we can to help you. Goodbye. Hi, my name is Rylan Bowens. The library is more than a collection of books. It is a space that supports various parts of student learning. It offers academic success by providing the tools, resources, and assistance students need to excel in their studies. Thank you, and I hope everyone will visit the library at Bluefield State University.